You know, whenever I get a spare moment, I love to come to the Timing Tower and reminisce with my old buddy, racecaster and HRA announcer, Dave McClellan. When you and I started doing the PA, we were lucky if we had glass in the window. Steve, when I started, there was no glass. It was on the back of a flatbed trailer out in the middle of an old airport in Arkansas. And in fact, we didn't have uh, clocks like this. Of course, now we got computers and laser printers. In those days, it was just a big round dial with a hand that went around and gave you the speed only. Nobody cared about elapsed time. How far we have come. One thing that hasn't changed, though, Dave, is National Dragster. We always had this. Let me tell you about National Dragster. The best way to get National Dragster is to become a member of NHRA. I do the membership. Steve, for $42, you get 48 issues of National Dragster. You get a decal, you get a patch, you get a pin, you get a rule book. And if you call the number on your screen right now, you get a copy of Drag Racing 89, all of the excitement of last year, hosted by yours truly and some other guy. Some other guy. Hush. <laughs> I'm not getting in the middle of that one. David, if you never saw a race here today, you could have a ball just eating. It's a county fair variety of foods. Polar sausage, Italian sausage, breaded beef, tenderloin, fresh lemonade, pickles, you name it. For me, I'm going to help train a nurse with an ear of roasted corn here. I'll take that one right over there. That Eat one? your heart out, McClellan. Enjoy your box lunch. That one would be just fine. Do we really help train a nurse doing this? You're doing right, we do. We've got seven nurses in training. Well, now. that's good. Bring them on. You know, famous drivers like Don the Snake for Dome have people stopping by their pits all the time, uh, wanting them to promote their product. Well, the fellow who came by offering the use or the loan of the move and cool machine here, he got no rejection whatsoever. It's a refrigeration unit that plugs into 110 and blows ice cold air through this huge ducting to anywhere they want it to the clutch to the engine to the tools uh, to their faces and Paul I'll tell you it's particularly effective on announcers oh eat your heart out Paige thanks Snake sure it feels good oh gosh oh well frankly Frank that was a nice win over Frank uh, yeah, a lot of Franks there. You know, we went out and uh, we watched the model run a 13 right in front of us, wow. and, and he's really, really going to be tough. I think we have him next round. I'm not real sure, but we might have run a team, but the car smoked the tires, did have to lift off the throttle, so that probably hurt it quite a bit. 525. Well, I think that's pretty good considering, uh, you know, I did get off the throttle once, so hopefully uh, we're going to get that clutch dial in a little bit and maybe uh, give a model a race next round. Well, Frank had to get off the throttle, and we have to get off the racetrack. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Drop cylinders hurt the bat, Cruz. Yeah, we got our wings clipped out here, but, uh, you know, we've raced Hoff an awful lot. I think we've beat him all the times we've raced him this year. He's a great guy, great team, great sponsor, but just wasn't our day, but we ran awful good here, very consistent, but evidently we have not dropped cylinders in a long time, so evidently it finally caught up to us. Now you need force to go out. Yeah, well, I think Hoffman's been doing good at that, so maybe Hoffman can take the boy out. Thanks. Okay, am I into this Batman thing or what? I'll try to lose it. Welcome back to our Speed World coverage of the Champion Auto Stores Nationals here in Brainerd, Minnesota. Funny car champion John Forrest is again making a difficult racetrack look like Easy Street. Qualified number one, 300 miles an hour. Beat Jim Blake in round number one. 1995, here is one unlike anything I have ever seen. Wayne Bailey on his burnout, right? Nice smoky burnout. Wait a minute, Wayne, you're, you're not John Fo Wayne, where are you going, Wayne? There was something wrong internally with the fuel system. Feeding it fuel, he put the chute out. That's what I'd have done. Now he's headed for the sand trap. He does something I wouldn't have done. He tries to save the car by avoiding the sand trap out in the grass. That's not a textbook drive, Wayne. Watch out for the woods, Wayne. And finally does get into the sand trap, a rather circuitous route, and it's still running. It starts to look like a tractor pull. The motor finally mercifully digests itself and dies. Safety Safari disbelievingly on the scene and they wore Wayne's helmet. David, I don't know about you, but they put me in this goofy machine in New York. They zap me to Indianapolis. They say when the pro stock part of the race is over, go down to that big grassy field at the far end and you'll get a ride back. Well, I'm in the grassy field watching qualifying for a race that happened months ago. What are they going to do? Beam me up? What is that noise? John, Force? Force? What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? I come here to get you? This is not a time machine, it's a motor scooter. It's not, it's all we got. You got here on this? You bet, we're leaving on it. You're taking me back to winter on this? Same guy that sent, sent you here, sent me here to get you. What about McClellan? Hey, not room enough, gotta go. Let's hit man. it. Maybe. Force, Force, look out for the bear! NHRA Today has been a presentation of Diamond B Sports. Steve. Steve. Oh.
how am I going to get home?